What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel where I show you unique things in Nuka World. In this video guide I will be showing you how to get the unique Nuka Cola pinup girl rocket suit. The suit we all saw and loved since we first laid eyes on it and now we can all obtain it ourselves. So after I show you where to get this armour, I will also answer your question about if it's any good. Spoiler, it's not. But who cares, it looks sick. Anyway, to find this unique set of armour, we may as well call it a costume, come here on the map to the Galactic Zone. It's located northwest from Nuka Town. I'm going to be starting from the north entrance just here on the map, so I can quickly show you guys where the actual building that we need to go inside is located. So head through the gate and up the unnecessarily long ramp. I've already killed all the enemies at this location and inside the building to make this video faster for you guys to watch. So once you reach the top of this ramp, you will find Nuka Galaxy. One of the most awesome locations ever for many reasons. Mostly just because it has a roller coaster though. So head on inside and the first thing we're going to do is activate the pretty lights. There will also be quite a few robots using energy weapons at this location. So if it's your first visit, do make sure that you have good energy defences and also a weapon to kill robots with. Preferably one with a legendary effect that does more damage to robots. And I'll leave a link in the description on how you can get some weapons that do that down below. So just head on through the ticket barriers and round the corner. So just head down the ramp here and turn around and you'll find this small office with a terminal inside. Open up the terminal and we can turn on those lights. Wow, how magical is that? Seriously, walking through this place without these lights on is just depressing. Unfortunately though, because we have not turned on Nuka World's power supply yet, we cannot yet activate the ride. So you have two options. You can either come this way and walk along the railway track all the way to the end, which is very possible to do, but I do not actually suggest doing it. Because when there are tons of enemies shooting at you and you're trying to find cover and also balance at the same time on a bloody railway track, you're going to have a bad time. Instead, we're going to walk around this way through the dark room. So if we walk through this door here, it's actually quite a big shortcut. Next, turn right and hug the outside wall on your right hand side. Work your way around this big room with all the meteorites in. You will soon come to some stairs. Jump down them. Just kidding, throw yourself down them. I do hope you seriously like stairs though because there are lots in this video. So once you finally reach the bottom, head across the room towards the lights in the distance. Now go up this corridor and down the other staircase. Now we're going to head under the railway and you'll reach another staircase. Oh my god, thank god it's not leg day. So head around and as you can see, the floor just stops and there's a huge ass drop. Jump off. No, please don't do that. Instead, use the elevator. Now it is worth mentioning that it is actually possible to jump that distance. You might want to save the game before trying if you are going to and also take off your armor for the speed, but I've tried it myself and it is possible to make and it's quite a good shortcut. But I'm actually gonna save you the ball lake of trying to do that and show you the proper way to do it. So at the bottom of the elevator, go left and head down some more stairs. Count how many times I say stairs in the comments below. Stairs, stairs, stairs. So now we just follow this rocky formation and there's a door at the end here that tucks away. And we're going to want to come down this corridor at the end here and guess what, there are some more. So this is actually the longest staircase in the whole area. I suggest writing a will before you try and take the climb, just in case you die on the way up. So once at the top, we must come up to this staircase to the right. And then we're going to go across the room and up some more stairs. And then at the top of these stairs, go right and travel up the last staircase. Please don't hate me, I know you've probably lost the will to live, but we're really close now. So at the top of this staircase, go through this door and head down this dark long corridor. Ooh, the last staircase is up ahead. I know I lied about the other one, but seriously, this is the last staircase. 
And there we have it, on a pretty rocket, is the Nuka Girl rocket armor. Go strip it off and put that swag on. Okay, I know I probably should have mentioned this before, but if you're a male character like me, I'm sorry, but the world is not ready for my swag. So you can actually exit the stairway to hell by ascending this ramp up here. And let me tell you now, the only way I'm ever going to walk around this building again is after I've activated the Nuka World power. Anyway, let's answer this question. Is this armor actually any good? No, it has a damage resistance of 5, an energy resistance of 45, and a pitiful radiation resistance of 35, which is actually kind of okay, but it's still crap. You might as well be wearing a hazmat suit. But you can breathe underwater, which is actually really useful. So it's actually much better than the Far Harbor diving suit because you can actually carry this along with other things as it only weighs eight grams. And it also does give you plus one charisma because nobody can hear you speak through that giant bubble. The logic is strong guys, really strong. So yes, I know its armor value is pretty dire, cry me a fucking river, but it does look awesome. And that is really all that matters and that's why you clicked on this video. So just put it on your mannequin in your house because obviously there aren't really any lakes to explore here in this DLC. So I don't know why they gave it that legendary effect. It kind of seems a bit weird, considering we already had the diving suit from Far Harbor. Like, it just doesn't make sense. But anyway, I'm going to stop bitching about it now. Put it on your mannequin, bake and wear it, or just throw it down the stairs. And then like the video, if it helps you. Thanks again for all your support, guys. I know I say it a lot, but I am ever appreciative of your viewership. So thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and of course, Instagram, so you can stay up to date with my daily Fallout 4 guides and banter. Thanks again for watching, guys. My name is ESO, and I will see you, or a subscriber, in the next Fallout 4 video guide. And seriously, guys, let me know what you actually do with this piece of armor, because I am interested to know. You sure as hell won't be wearing it on survival difficulty.